In this episode of the Breakdance Unleashed series, we will learn how to create this type of stacked containers effect using the default scrolling animations in Breakdance. It's a common pattern on modern websites that adds a nice touch of interactivity that feels natural with the page flow. The container's content is up to your requirements, of course, and you can mix in different kinds of animated properties to create different kinds of effects. Let's start by setting up the page layout we want for this demo. For the purpose of this video, I'll add a section to the top of the page with a fixed height to give us some scrolling space. Next, I'll add another section that will include our stacked containers. Inside the section, I'll add a div element that will act as our stacked containers wrapper. I'll give it a label in the structure panel and then style it as needed for this demo. Inside the wrapper, I'll add another div element which will represent our first stacked container. I'll give it some default styling and add a heading element to help differentiate the different containers that we will have. Now that we have a base container, we can duplicate it a few times and add some gap on our wrapper to spread the containers. Next, I will change the background color and the heading on each duplicated container to make it easier for us to visualize the effect. Lastly, I'll duplicate the top section and move it to the bottom of the page. And with this, our basic layout for this demo is completed. For the setup of the stacked containers effect, the first thing we need is to give the wrapper a CSS class. Then, on the first container, under the Animations menu in the Advanced tab, I'll apply a sticky with a position top and set it to be relative to our wrapper using the CSS class we just created. Next, I'll create a scrolling animation. In this case, I want the container to become a little bit smaller when it's stickied at the top, so I will set the scale property with a start of 1 and an end of 0.8. And for the trigger location, I will set it to start 80 and end 100. Next, I'll duplicate the settings on the other containers since I want them to have the same effect. For the last container, however, we don't want to have any sticky applied on it since this is the point where we want the normal scroll flow to resume. You may also choose not to include any scrolling animation on it either. In this case, though, I'll apply the same scale animation as the other containers. In either case, the one thing that you have to do on the last container is to apply an Z-index to match the Z-index that the Breakdance Sticky feature uses. Otherwise, the last container will be behind the containers before it, as can be seen here. The default Z-index used by the Sticky feature in Breakdance has a value of 10, so I'll apply that same value manually. Let's test it on the front end and make sure everything is working as expected. Looks good. As you can see, setting up such patterns is pretty simple with Breakdance, and you can create all kinds of variations using the same principles shown in this video. Don't forget to like the video if you found it useful and subscribe to be notified of future videos.